Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now, for those of you who are just joining us, we've had a fantastic time already, and it gets even more interesting as we head over to our first set of conversations. Now, we're looking at eradicating poverty by creating more job opportunities, and on my immediate right, I have Bart Enyang, who is the team lead for EcoBeats. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And on my extreme right, I have Asha Adeni, the MD of Poise Nigeria. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. All right, so EcoBeats, um, you are trying to reduce the amount of um, and unemployment that we have. Tell us exactly how you're doing this. Okay, so um, so we've identified that um, in some slum communities in Nigeria, uh, most students, most um, secondary school leavers, right, so the ones that are done with um, school, they're just jobless, you know. So um, we're trying to reduce this um, unemployment really by empowering them with the global skills, you know. So in EcoBit, we, we teach ICT skills and design skills. So we go to these communities, and you know, create awareness and have them register. You know, we've done this since 2016, actually. And um, the impact that uh, we've had on these people, on these young people, is I mean, it's amazing because um, I can remember in 2016 when we started. You know, we we had a girl, Faith, Faith Kola Wale. So she came in. She had no prior knowledge of, of the computer, but now she's working with um, an ICT firm in Lagos. Oh, yeah. And you know. I can imagine when, because I was the only trainer at the time. Oh, you have other trainers now. Yes, now we have other trainers. We have the web development, web development trainer, and then we also have um, um, a visual trainer that focuses on photography. All right, and do you train them maybe before they go into university or, you know, when they, you focus on people that are just secondary school leavers? Uh, yes, so, uh, so we have a criteria for that. Um, so for our students, they must, um, uh, they must be between the ages of 15 and 25, and then they must have their SSE. And then they, they should also be from a slum community, which, and then another um, big criteria that we are also looking at is, uh, or are those young people that are close to the, that live close to the training center, all right? Okay. Um, yes, so that's how we really get across to them and then get them on board. Yeah. All right. Let's talk to you, Asha. You're yeah. um, the managing director of Poise Nigeria, and that's, of course, a finishing school. And I'm sure that in the course of your work, you've met lots of young people. You know yeah. that we have an unemployment problem in Nigeria. Yeah. What would you say are some of the most common mistakes that young people or school leavers, what are some of the most common etiquette mistakes, etiquette mistakes that they make? Okay. Um, actually, I lead the team at Poise Graduate Finishing Academy, and there we talk a lot to um, young graduates of universities. And some of the mistakes is around soft skills, um, around um, skills like problem solving. So, you know, we, uh, a lot of people focus on blaming another person for uh, problems while they do not take the initiative to um, solve the problems that they say. So uh, that's one of the root cause of problems that we see uh, with young um, graduates. They there's a form of, uh, some form of entitlement where you kind of blame another person for a responsibility that you should take, you know. And some other uh, etiquette of um, probably taking initiative. Um, also, you know, we talk about communication skills. So communication skills in terms of listening, thanks so, uh, also verbal communication. And there are some other uh, form of skills that we also talk about. So there are so many things that we teach at Poise that we really can't say. Um, because of our time here, but essentially it, it will be some form of communication, high power thinking when we talk about um, reasoning, critical thinking, and problem solving. We also talk about adaptability. Can you adapt to situations? You know, we also talk about positive self-concept. So you, you need to have a positive evaluation of yourself, a positive image of yourself. You know, we talk about resilience. How grateful are you? How resilient are you in form of situation? Do you expect instant results? When it doesn't come, how do you face it? Do you continue uh, with, of course, different action, expecting an excellent result? What kind of mindset do you have? I think that's a very fantastic point you raise. More importantly, because we are in a, what I call a fast food generation. <laughs> We're basically a group of people that want immediate gratification. Yeah. And when you don't get the yeah. results, you want to quit yes. and then you look for something else yes. to do. So that's a fantastic one. I'll yeah. still come back to you. But yeah. I want to ask you um, about, Bart, about... Um, 
the criteria in deciding now you said you look for those living in slum areas yes. and those surrounding you know the academy yeah, the let's academy talk about the screening process first of all is it free yeah it's free although Brilliant. we have sponsors we have donors yes okay mm -hmm. so what how do you decide who gets in okay. or how do they get to even apply for it okay so um when like this year you know i just mentioned that we started on monday so before then we had gone to these communities so we have flyers so we go to spread the word so we meet families, we meet um, young people, and just try to sell the idea to them. So they were a bit, a bit resilient at first, but I mean, after selling the ideas to them, they, I mean, got on board. So, so now they are no more resisting your <laughs> initial. No, no, no. So um, after that, they get to fill a form, all right? So we hand them registration forms, so they get to fill it, and then we schedule them for interviews. So after the interviews, um, so we just, during the interviews, we are, so we often look for you know, um, committed, you know, um, youth, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. those that have the passion, you know, um, because we had a lot of people, you know, apply for it, like 180 young people, but then we only needed 100 um, of them. But, I mean, we're really focusing on those that were committed, you know, th those that, you know, we, we can tell that are really from such a background that we are looking yeah. for, you understand? Yeah, very... I mean, those that cannot afford And are you, are you open to accepting more people yet? Or are uh, you done with that? Yeah, we are done for this, for this, phase. For okay. this phase, yes. So the next phase will be in 2019. 2019. I am sure there are many people who have heard about this and thinking, okay, I have somebody that I would like yes. to refer to this. How can people get access to the information, this sort of information? Okay, so we have um, a website, www.ecobit.academy. Um, okay. So if you go on there, you can read more about, you know, the the eco bit really Brilliant. and then you can also call us you know yeah. uh, right. the the lines are always i'm sure they'll see the contact yes. on the website yes. as well yes. well yes. done you're doing such an amazing job thank and you. thank you very much for identifying a gap in the society yes. you know and doing that yeah. very quickly finally why do, do we really need a finishing school in nigeria we don't have a lot of that but mm. do we really need a lot of that okay so the result i've shown that we need a, vis a finishing school in nigeria um we know that, you know, we talk about unemployment rate in Nigeria. Out of the executive that we've trained, we've had 87% employment rate uh, amongst the executives. So it shows that we need a finishing school because there's clearly always a difference. Because what me what's, what was the measure of success? The measure of success is how many people get this job and stay on this job. Uh, what's uh, employers saying about them? You know, so if we've trained, if Nigeria's unemployment, unemployment rate and underemployment rate is over 50 percent, but we are saying from our graduate, from the soft skills that we've um, uh, equipped the uh, youth with, we have 87 uh, percent employment rate. So absolutely, the results show that um, soft skills is really needed. All right. And we wish you all the best. Thank you for all that you do. How can Thank people you. follow you individually on social media? Okay, so my handle on Twitter and Instagram is Bart Rivers, B A R T R E E V E R S. Okay, yeah. and how can you follow you? And um, at A G T S I H, yeah. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining <laughs> us. We've been speaking with Bart Young and Larry Asha, and they basically talked to us about how we can reduce unemployment in our society. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.